Rockstars, Jennifer Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to run comps using Matrix. All right, so this is FMLS, but those of you that use Matrix, I mean, it's the same thing no matter what state you're in. If you're using Matrix, it's going to be the same system. So um, you go, if you're logging into the local one here in Georgia, first MLS, which is FMLS, you go to Matrix. All right, so we want to run comps. Let's say we have a three bedroom, two bath house that you want to run comps on in Roswell. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to search residential. You want to see what has closed recently. So you're going to go down here and click on closed and it automatically gives you six months. This is February, 2023. We're in a volatile market. So you want to always do I mean, I try to always do comps in the last 90 days or sooner if they're available. And then we also want to know what is currently on the market, what is under contract, and what is pending. So you can do the whole city, um, or you can do by zip code, or you can go by school. So typically, uh, if you're doing a, a search for a property, you want to be as close as you can. First, you want to search by the neighborhood. So if you know the actual neighborhood, it would be right here under subdivision. So let's say that we're running comps um, on the Hembry Forest subdivision. Now, this is a really small subdivision. See, you can tell down here, nothing popped up. So, okay, there are none. So the next thing you would do, you look at the elementary school. You type it in here. Um, or you can do the high school. So let's do the high school. I'm gonna do Milton. And look at that, 137 matches because I haven't put anything in yet. All I did was I searched residential detached on the market and closed high school Milton, 137. So in Roswell, there's two zip codes. So you can, you know, narrow it down by zip code if you want or you can do um, a mile radius around the property. Two mile radius is probably the best. And then you also over here, you wanna put in what you're running comps on. So if you're running comps on a three bedroom, two bath home, you're gonna do three bedrooms. And then this is total of full baths. So you'll put two. If there's two and a half, that will capture it. because They're talking about full bathrooms. So let's do a three, two. Um, I typically don't put in square feet unless I get a bunch of, of comparables. And then you wanna do age range. So let's say the house is 1980. Typically I search 10 years up and 10 years down. So that would be like 1970 to 1990, right here. 1970 to 1990. All right, 15, not bad. Now, if you want to do just one story, you can always select that too. But let's just see what we have because we have 15. So let's do results. Cool. Wow. Okay. There's quite a bit. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Look at the price range 950 all the way down to 392. So if you're just doing a small ranch, it's definitely not going to be a million dollars. So I like to sort by price to see what we have here. And see, these are all the recent closed ones, and you also have active and pending. So what I like to do is just kind of sort through each one. So you go, you can go back to criteria, and let's say, okay, let's just see what's on the market right now and under contract. Let's get rid of the closed just right now so we can filter it out. So currently on the market, this is what we have. 1975, wow, 585, 555. So this is 1988. Okay, so this is in Alpharetta because this is also in the Milton High School. And if we're searching for a property that is in Milton High School, but it's in Roswell, we want to try to stay within the same city. So we're going to go back to criteria since we got Alpharetta. 
and we want to make sure that we're just getting Roswell properties. So for city, we'll type in Roswell right here. All right, so now we have one on the market. Oh, 600. Now that looks like a really nice ranch. We have a typical, I'm running comps for just a typical, well, it's a little bit dated. Three bedroom, two bath, 1980. Oh, it's on one acre. Okay. Well, that one's under contract. So let's just see. I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna get rid of high school just for this example. We're just gonna do the city of Roswell, a three bedroom, two bath. Let's say the square feet, um, 1200 to, I don't know, let's say, let's say the house is 1600 square feet. So, um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's go up to 2000. I'm gonna run the comps for 1200 to 2000 square feet. And let's click on results. And if you just get one like that, you can go back to agent single line. That's gonna bring you to the properties. Okay, 324, 399. This is more what I was looking for for the property I had in mind. So this one's 325 under contract, three bedroom, two bath, 1989, simple ranch. Okay, this is what I was looking for. A little bit dated. Perfect. So we're going to use that as a comp. We'll go back to the line. So we can say, yep, we're going to use that. So we're going to select that one as a comp. Let's see what this one is. Uh, $3.99. Yeah, we could use this one. All right, let's use that one too. That's a good one. Um, we're getting kind of pricey here based on the house I was running comps on. This is 413. I've seen this one. This was about look at 133 days on market. So obviously this was overpriced, but if you're running a three bedroom, two bath ranch, I mean this would be a comp, but you have, have to explain to your client that it's not selling because it's overpriced, right? So we'll we'll use this as a comp too. All right, so there now we have our three actives. So typically when you run comps, you want three actives or contracts. That's all considered active and three solds. And the best way to do this, I like to put these in a cart. So what we do is you go down to carts, and then you're going to do create new, and you can call it like um, the, the property. So you could do like main. Let's do Main Street Comps Roswell or something like that. And you're going to save it. So those three properties right here were added to that cart. That way we can come back to it. We won't lose those properties. Because now we're going to go back to the criteria. And get, um, deselect those. We're going to go back to the criteria. And now we're going to get rid of those. And we're just going to look for recently closed properties. Eight. Okay, cool. And that's in the last 90 days. Go to results and okay, they're priced from lowest. If you want to sort them, you just click on price like that. See, and I put it from highest to lowest, or you can sort them the other way. You can do the same thing for square feet or whatever you're sorting for. It makes it simple. So now these are the recent sales. Look, closing date, December, November, December, November, December, February. Uh, look at the price though. That's probably not going to be a good comp. That is probably going to be too nice. So let's look at this one. 345, three bedroom, two bath, 1974. It, since our comp is 1980, it's, it's a good comp. And this one closed in December. So we can look at that one. And let's see what we have. Looks pretty simple. Yeah. 
Yeah, that will work for our um, three bedroom, two bath ranch, 1980 house that we're running comps on. Yeah, well, that would be a good one. So we'll use that one. And then you can go back to the list by clicking right here, agent single line. And let's see the one for 350, Baron Farms. Oh, okay, cool. Here's a ranch. Look at this. List price 360, sales price 350. And it's three bedroom, two bath, 1700 square feet. Perfect. That works. That works as a comp. Awesome. So we're finding our sales here pretty fast. And let's see this one for 370. This is a little bit larger, 1820 square feet, but it's sold in December. And it's also a ranch. This will work. All right. So here are the um the recent solds I just found. And so I selected those and added them to the cart. So now I should have all my comps in my cart. So if I just go to my dashboard and I scroll down, there's a section that says carts. And this is what I called it, Main Street Comps Roswell. I'm gonna click on that. And here are the comps. Those are my three actives and my three solds. So what I do before going on the listing appointment, I'll select them all and go click on print and then do a quick CMA print to PDF and that is going to show you the actives this one's showing you under contract and listings closed so now uh, when you go on the appointment you can go over and see the bedroom count bath square feet original price list price and look at right here is total days on market so this is important to let people know listed at 413 look at 133 days on the market it's overpriced and then this one that went under contract in four days look at that it was listed at 325 so it was priced right and then if you look at the recent sales it will show you original price right here this one is originally priced at 395 they dropped it to 350 and then it sold for 345 and then they also paid 15,000 to the buyer's closing costs so that means they sold it for 345 and then paid 15,000 to buyer's closing costs so essentially the seller got 345 minus 15,000 which is like getting 330,000 for the property and that took 36 days and then you can see here original price 390 sold at 350 and this one original price 450 dropped it to 445 sold for 370 look at these they're taking like 16 days on market 33 36 so this one was very smart right they, they priced it ahead of the market which is what we want to do in a declining market and then they went under contract in four days so you want to bring this with you to show your clients okay so um so that's how i run comps it, you know if your house is 1980 three bedroom two bath i'm going to do 10 years up 10 years down meaning search properties from 1970 to 1990 and I'm gonna to try to stay with a three bedroom, two bath. You could go up to four if you needed to. Um, you do want to do like a two mile radius or if your city is pretty much the same when someone's looking for a house in Roswell, looking for a ranch all over the city, they're kind of going for the same price. And so you can search the entire city, but you want to stay, um, typically, if you're in a larger city, you want to first start with the schools. So closest first the neighborhood if the house is in a certain neighborhood you want to search for those houses in that particular neighborhood first and then within the elementary school range and then if you can't find enough you go to the high school but you still want to stay in the same city you don't want to cross over until the next city unless they're comparable and then you can always you know do a two mile radius or whatever it is to find um the comparables and you want to do the last 90 days so the more recent, the better for more accurate pricing. So hopefully that is helpful. And um, yeah, good luck on your appointments.